sleep. It looks like you're doing nothing, but your brain, it's pulling an all-nighter for you. While you're out, it's cleaning up, fixing wiring, storing memories, and even solving problems you gave up on hours ago. Stage 1. Light Sleep Light sleep is your brain's gentle on-ramp to the deeper work that happens later. It usually kicks in right after you close your eyes and drift away from wakefulness. This is when your brain waves slow from busy beta and relaxed alpha down into slower theta waves. Your heartbeat settles into a calmer rhythm, your breathing deepens, and your muscles start to fully relax. Your brain doesn't fully clock out, though. It's still half alert for danger. A leftover survival trick from when we had to sleep with one ear open for predators. That's why you might wake up at a tiny sound or movement during this stage. The thalamus, your brain's sensory filter, is still partially open, scanning the environment for anything that needs your attention. Ever feel like you're falling and suddenly jolt awake? That sudden twitch is called a hypnic jerk, just your body's way of double-checking that you're safe before it lets you sink deeper. Light sleep doesn't do the heavy repair work, but it makes up about half your sleep for a reason. It helps your body ease down the gears and sets you up for the truly restorative magic that happens next. Stage 2. Sleep Spindles and Memory Filtering Stage 2 is when sleep starts getting real. You're no longer half awake but not in deep sleep yet either. It's a sweet spot for your brain's overnight filing system. In this stage, your brain's electrical activity shows sleep spindles, quick rhythmic bursts that help protect your sleep from small disturbances. Think of them like earplugs for your brain, blocking out minor noises so you stay asleep. You'll also see K-complexes, big single waves that act like your brain's security guards. They decide, should I wake up to this noise or ignore it? Most small noises? Ignored. Your heart rate drops lower, your muscles fully loosen up, and your body temp dips even more. You're drifting toward deeper sleep, but your brain is busy. Stage 2 is your mental sorting room. Your brain filters what you learned during the day, keeping the good stuff and clearing out the fluff. Memories that matter get saved for deep sleep and REM to store and process fully. This stage can make up to half your total sleep, showing just how much your brain loves organizing your mental shelves while you rest. Stage 3. Deep Sleep – Body Repair Mode Stage 3 is the big one. Deep Sleep, also called Slow Wave Sleep. This is when your brain and body go into full maintenance mode. Your brain waves slow down into long, deep delta waves that sweep calmly through your cortex, calming the chaos of the day. Your breathing is slow and steady, your muscles are completely relaxed, and your blood pressure is at its lowest. Growth hormone floods your system, repairing tissues, building muscle, and boosting your immune defenses. If you've worked out or gotten a cut, deep sleep is when your body does its best healing work. But your brain is scrubbing too. Deep sleep clears out metabolic waste, proteins and toxins that pile up while you're awake, through the glymphatic system. Think of it as your brain's night janitor sweeping out the trash before it causes damage. When you're sleep deprived, it's deep sleep that your body craves most. Miss out too often, and you're more likely to feel run down, get sick, and age faster. Without enough of this stage, even eight hours in bed can leave you feeling groggy. So, if you want to wake up strong, clear-headed, and recharged, deep sleep is non-negotiable. REM sleep, the dream factory. REM sleep, short for rapid eye movement, is where your brain gets wildly creative. During this stage, your eyes flicker under your eyelids. Your brain lights up with activity, and you enter the vivid, often bizarre world of dreams. Your brain waves look surprisingly similar to when you're awake, but your body stays completely still. That's because your brain stem temporarily paralyzes most muscles. Your built-in safety net so you don't act out your dreams. REM is when your brain sorts through emotions and stitches new experiences into long long-term memory. It connects dots you didn't even know were there, which is why you can wake up with fresh ideas or sudden solutions to old problems. This stage is like emotional first aid too, replaying difficult memories but softening the sting so you can wake up feeling calmer and more balanced. Miss out on REM though, and you'll feel foggy, moody, and creatively blocked. REM cycles get longer as the night goes on. That's why cutting sleep short steals your dream time first. So the next time you wake up from a weird dream, thank your brain for the free overnight therapy session. It's working hard to keep you sane. The memory triad. Your brain doesn't just store memories while you sleep. It curates, organizes, and upgrades them through what you could call the memory triad. First up, selection. While you're dozing, your brain sorts through everything you saw, heard, and felt that day, picking out what matters. Most random stuff gets tossed, but emotional moments, useful facts, and important skills get flagged to stay. Next is consolidation. This is where deep sleep and REM team up to transfer those keepers from short-term holding into long-term storage. It's like moving files from your desktop to a secure backup drive. Neural connections strengthen, facts lock in, and new skills stick. Finally comes 
integration. Your brain connects the new stuff with old memories, making fresh links that boost creativity and problem solving. That's why sleep often brings clarity you didn't have before. Skip sleep and this system breaks down. Details slip away, learning slows down, and your mind feels scattered. You can read all night and cram all you want, but if you don't sleep, your brain can't seal the deal. Want sharper memory? Treat sleep like your brain's personal librarian bout because that's exactly what it is. Your emotional reset sleep isn't just a break for your body, it's emotional housekeeping for your brain. As you cycle through deep sleep and re-em your limbic system, especially the amygdala, your fear and emotion center goes through a nightly tune-up. REM sleep is your brain's built-in therapy session. It replays emotional memories but drains away some of their stings. So when you wake up, yesterday's stress feels lighter and arguments feel less sharp. Without this process, stress just keeps stacking up. Meanwhile, your prefrontal cortex, the logical, rational part, powers back up while you rest. A well-rested brain means better self-control and clearer thinking. You're less likely to overreact, snap, or spiral over tiny frustrations. When sleep is cut short, your amygdala stays on high alert. Small things feel huge and your reactions can swing from calm to meltdown in seconds. Chronic bad sleep can even raise your risk for anxiety and depression. So when you hear sleep on it, it's not just a saying, it's science. Sleep is where your brain processes yesterday's mess so you can handle tomorrow's chaos with a clear head and steadier heart. The cost of bad sleep. Losing sleep isn't just about feeling tired. When you skimp on rest, your brain and body pay the price in ways you might not see right away. For starters, lack of sleep stops your brain from clearing out waste proteins that build up while you're awake. Over time, this gunk can pile up and raise your risk of memory loss and diseases like Alzheimer's. Poor sleep messes with your mood too. Without enough deep and REM sleep, your amygdala, your stress center, goes into overdrive while your rational prefrontal cortex slows down. This combo makes you more likely to snap, stress out, or feel down for no clear reason. Your body takes a hit too. Bad sleep spikes your cortisol, your main stress hormone, which ramps up inflammation. Your immune system weakens, you crave more sugar, your metabolism goes off track, and your risk of weight gain and chronic disease climbs. Sleep debt stacks up like credit card debt. Each lost hour makes your brain foggier, your emotions shakier, and your long-term health riskier. Want better focus, steadier moods, and a healthy brain for life? Guard your sleep fiercely. It's worth it. How to sleep smarter. Sleeping smarter isn't about getting more hours. It's about giving your brain what it needs to do its best work overnight. Start with a sleep schedule. Going to bed and waking up at the same time every day trains your body clock, making falling asleep and staying asleep easier. Your brain loves predictability. It's how your circadian rhythm stays in sync. An hour before bed, dim the lights and switch off screens. Blue light from phone Phones, tablets, and TVs fools your brain into thinking it's still daytime, blocking melatonin, your sleep hormone. Instead, wind down with something calm. Read, stretch, journal, or listen to soft music. Set up your room for sleep success. Cool, dark, and quiet is best. Use blackout curtains, white noise, or an eye mask if needed. If your mind races at night, do a quick brain dump. Write down tomorrow's tasks or anything on your mind so it doesn't swirl around while you try to drift off. And don't forget daytime habits. Get morning sunlight, move your body, eat balanced meals, and limit caffeine late in the day. Small daily choices add up to deeper, better sleep, and your brain will thank you for it every morning. Your brain never really sleeps, but it needs you to. When you protect your sleep, you protect your memory, mood, and future health. So guard your shut eye like gold. Your brain will thank you. If you enjoyed this, hit like, share your weirdest dream in the comments, and subscribe for more ways to outsmart your brain. Sleep well, you've earned it.